It's always a little scary when you pay four digits for something. $1,083 we paid for this one. What's up, everybody? My name is Aaron. I'm the Brick Scavenger. We got a fun little haul for you today. In theory, this is 4.9 pounds of minifigures. That's a lot of minifigures. Uh, we're going to try to split this up into five. Oh, my word. We're going to try and split this into five... Is that, oh no, I think I already did something bad. Uh, different hauls so that we can get through these about a pound at a time. There's so much in here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate you guys over here. We're going to weigh out five pounds. Oh no, I'm making a mess. We're going to weigh out five pound buckets. I mean, uh, one pound buckets. We're going to tear off the weight of the container so that doesn't count. Uh, let's see, can you guys see there? Are we on pounds? Yes, we are. Are we flat enough to actually do this? Yes, so let's tear off the weight. Maybe. There. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can create some one pound containers and then we're gonna go through these uh, one pound at a time. I'm excited except for the fact that it's, it's literally $1,000, which is a little scary, but so be it. All right, we're almost there. Now there's one pound right there. One pound, we're off and rolling. Let's tear off the weight again. If you guys aren't tearing off the weight of your containers, you should be. Uh, that way the weight of the container itself doesn't count because that general rule of 100 minifigs per pound obviously isn't true if you're concluding the the weight of the container. Uh oh, throwing stuff on the ground. Let's see, are we getting there? We're getting there. I don't know if this is gonna be five pounds. Let's see, one pound, that's two. Holy cow, this is a lot. This is a lot of figs, so that's good news. Hopefully we're gonna get to five of these containers. Let's see, let's see if we are. 12 ounces. Uh, 15, cutting close, a little high, there it is, that's three. If you're just here to see figs, be patient, we're almost there. But I figured I'd show you the whole process, that's part of the fun, you know? All right, here we go. Oh no, this bag is a mess. What are we at, six already? Lost one, lost him again. What are we at, 12? Uh, let's see, where are we at? 15. Hopefully we've got some complete figs in here to make my life a little easier. That would be nice. Oop, a little too high. All right, close enough. Wait, let's take this guy out. Yep, perfect. Okay, that's four. So the good news is we've got at least four. That's the good news. Let's tear off this weight. And we'll do whatever's... Oh, no. We'll do whatever's left in here. Let's see. All right, let's see how much, how close we got to 4.9 pounds. All right, now that's trash. We've got a bunch of stuff in this box. Maybe we got pretty darn close, actually. Holy cow, let's go. So I think we're gonna be close enough to be like pretty happy with the weight. Let's see, I think that's it right there. Something might've tucked under there, but. Oh my gosh, a plume, a white plume. Where is it? Where is the thing? A white plume. We don't want to lose that. All right, is that it? I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. Okay, so what'd we get? Oh, look at that. It's another pound. We got five pounds. All right, so that puts the math at right about $2 per fig. All right, $2 a fig. We're gonna do this one first. We're gonna try, well again, we're gonna try to double our money, right? So if we paid $200 for what you see in front of you, we're gonna try and turn it into 400. I, what I saw when I bought this was a whole bunch of CMF stuff along with some other collectible stuff. So let's see what we can find. Uh, if you're interested in any of this stuff, Bricklink, eBay, whatnot, I sell on all three of those platforms. Links in the description. This mohawk on this Jurassic Park guy is fun. We call those guys dinosaur food. We got a criminal. Not off to a hot start, though, are we? There's, um, I can never remember the name, Powerpuff Girls or something. 
some kind of airline guy. All right, we're not off to a hot start. There's a Muppet. That's pretty good right there. And I don't know what this guy is. What is that guy? He's got like an oil stain on him or something. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, there's some hair. Hey, there's a storm. I'm not sure what her hair is supposed to look like, but there's a storm. That's the Marvel CMF one, I think. Here's some more CMF stuff right here. I don't remember if that guy's a skateboarder, but here's like the birthday kid from a series. Uh, let's see, there's the violin kid. Hey, here's an Ewok. That's a nice little pickup right there for sure. We have got Henry, uh, Henry Jones, Indiana Jones' father. Wrong hat, but we can find one of those for him. There's the fox costume guy. We have got, I don't know what the heck that thing is. Uh, some kind of criminal guy. There's a troll hair. There's a Jurassic World guy. She's got great legs. Uh, there's the birthday costume guy. Birthday cake costume guy. At least the birthday cake part. Uh, there's some Harry Potter and some other stuff. Captain America and some kind of city fig. Not totally crushing this haul so far. Two bucks a fig. That means we've got to kind of do four bucks a fig. We're nowhere close to that yet. Uh, there's a, I don't know if that's a series. That might be an older series, actually. That might be a good one. And that feels like uh, it's Ninjago. Really good parts and pieces on that one for sure. Uh, let's see. Some more city stuff. That... Is that um, Sally Ride? I think that's Sally Ride right there. That's a fun one. Uh, there's a Hawkeye. There is, I don't know what the heck that is, but she's winking at me. Here is the cat costume girl. That might be from the Lego movie. There's a Wonder Woman. Tons and tons of like four to five dollar figs in here so far. That one I feel like is similar to the Sally Ride. There was a set that came out with like uh, successful or influential women in history or something like that. That might be another one of those. Uh, that, I think, is Ellie from Jurassic Park, maybe? Obviously, we need to find her hair. But that can be a kind of a fun fig. There is, I don't know what that is, skeleton. There's another skeleton. Hey, there's a nice one right there. There is a Roman soldier. Wow, that's a pretty good fig, actually, I believe. So that's a nice start right there. That one's definitely notable. We've got um, parts of a Harry Potter, I can't remember his name. There's a city fig, another city fig. These city figs are just crushing the value of this haul. Uh, this is the like Elf Maiden CMF. That's actually a really good fig if you can complete her. That I think is Ninjago right there. This red dragon is super fun. He'll be a quick seller for sure. People will want that guy. There is, um, oh, that's a sumo wrestler. And that I can't remember is the... I can't remember. Anyway, CMF guy. Uh, let's see. We've got... What the heck is that? I don't know. A gym... Oh, no. It's a, it was gym teacher? No, it's a Jurassic World guy. Uh, that is just a cool hat. Maybe that's Harry Potter hat right there. There is... Look at this guy. Is this like a tr train conductor or something? He's got fun dark red. City fig. Here is a Donald Duck and an Ant-Man. That feels like it's Jurassic park but i don't know look at that fanny pack that's hilarious some minecraft and some harry potter here let's see this this is the uh spider costume guy not from series 14 different series but really fun for halloween coming up for sure what in the world is this this guy's got like a reindeer costume with underwear what the heck is that is that even real I have no idea what that is. It's got some underwear. That It has the Lego logo. Is it custom printed? What in the world? It appears to be all authentic, but I have absolutely no idea what in the world that is. That thing's hilarious. Uh, let's see. We've got Minecraft Skeleton. We've got Sherry Scratch and Post, I believe. There's the Sailor CMF. More dinosaur food. Feels like a Lex Luthor situation, but I'm not sure if that's what that is. Um, let's see, there's the Princess Kissy Frog hat. We've got Leia hair on this farmer. I'm not sure if that uh, sweater is any good or not. Uh, that, I believe, is the firework guy, if we can find the rest of him. Uh, and that, I think, is maybe the Kendo fighter. Does that sound right? There's a watermelon guy. Dun -dun. Let's see. Whoa, this guy looks like he's ready to propose. Uh, I don't know what that torso is. This is the, the geisha or something like that. 
Here's the Series 3, maybe, uh, race car driver. Like I said, lots and lots of Series in here. That's another Series fig right there. Uh, that might even be the Series Grandma. There's a uh, Black Panther. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is, but that feels like it's very castle-y. Uh, that's one of the better Harry Potter figs. I feel like five, six, eight bucks, something like that. Hey, that guy's missing his um, helmet, but that guy is from Incredibles, I believe. Oh, here's the uh, firework right here. Uh, lots, Like I said, lots and lots of $5 stuff. The question is, does the $5 stuff add up enough to average $4 overall? So far, I would say the answer is no. Um, but I think I remember seeing some better stuff in this entire haul, whether it's in this you know, pound, I don't know. There's a Kenobi right there. There's the rest of the birthday cake guy. For sure, people that are into CMFs will be, you know, paying for some of this stuff. I have no doubt. There's the binary Lego girl. There's the uh, scuba diver with the turtle, wherever the turtle is. I hope it's in here. There's an Iron Man. There's the farmer. That farmer has an expensive, uh, some kind of accessory animal. There's a... Uh, Dementor? Is that Dementor? Good cape on that guy. Whoa! Look at this! What in the world is this doing in here? Holy cow! That's like an old... Is it old? That's like, like a castle maiden. Whoa! That is a really cool find right there. How is that in here? Oh, look at this! This is Mojo right here. We're picking up some steam. Look at that guy. He's awesome. Love me some Mojo. That's funny. Here's the pretzel guy, the Bavarian, I think, uh, no, pre uh, Lederhosen guy. I think that's his name, Lederhosen guy. That's a good CMF as well. We're picking up some steam now. Now we're getting after it. Look at this, the T-bone from the butcher. That's a good piece right there. Uh, let's see. These are actually surprisingly expensive, these little wheelchairs, like three, four bucks a piece for sure. There's some Minecraft. There is a figure skater, I believe. I have absolutely no idea what that guy is. Here is another Harry Potter fig of some variety. Uh, there's like a, I don't know, a vet technician or a doctor or a nurse or something. Look at this guy. How awesome is he, the taco guy? Where's his red sombrero? Here is some more Owen, I think, from Jurassic World. We have got a uh, Chewy, obviously. Is this, maybe this is Sherry's Scratch and Post? I'm forgetting now which one was which, or maybe they're both. Uh, there's another maiden right there. Where's your, where's your skirt? Hopefully it's somewhere in one of the other ones. I don't see it. What is this thing? That feels like it's a Harry Potter thing. Uh, look at this guy. He's like got armor, but he's a motorcycle guy or is it a girl? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a girl with like her tongue sticking out. Okay. Like she's pretty, she's pretty batty. Uh, look at this guy. Is this a caroler of some kind? That feels very holiday E. That's a fun fig right there. Here is, uh, that is the ballerina, I believe. Man, there is tons and tons of CMF in here. And that's, like I said, that's my memory. Ooh, look at this. That's cool right there. Look at that. Um, I think that's Harry Potter as well. That's a fun, that's a fun fig. Uh, oh, I see a good one. I'll show you in just a second. Look at this guy. Where's his helmet? Man, that guy's a beast right there. Uh, there is, I don't know, some kind of worker, but look at this. Hey, that's a complete game changer. Considering we paid 200 on this whole thing, this is a complete game changer. There's Space Iron Man. Hopefully he's real. He is real. Hopefully he's not cracked. Let's find out. Whoa, he's in insanely good condition. Wow, that arm has zero swing wear. That arm has, jeez, oh, piece, zero swing wear. That's a beauty. Holy moly. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, that's probably Storm's hair, right? Uh, we got an elf hat. These elf hats are stupid expensive. Three bucks a piece. Easy on that. Maybe more. Silly elf hats. Uh, we've got some other accessories in here. What is that? Some kind of checklist. Hey, look at this. This is kind of fun. Ooh, we've got some uh, stuff to add to the Islanders display. That's fun. Here's a baby Minecraft fig. Look at that thing. Um, but let's talk about unusual CMF real quick. Oh, here's the, um, here's the plume. Where'd it go? It probably goes to our pretzel guy like that. All right. We started out real slow, but I think that spaceman is going to make a giant difference. Mojo, this guy or the, uh, castle maiden. I think we ended up doing okay. Uh, but let's talk about the soccer players. These are German soccer players. 
I don't know if this goes together like this well. I don't know the soccer players well enough. But man, these soccer players are really hard to find. Just really hard. I started collecting them. I don't know how many I have. Let's go on a quick field trip and see. This is number nine right here. Yeah, number nine. I'm tripping over things as I go. Let's go over to the CM wall, CMF wall and see if we have number nine on the wall. So I've got the coach and the goalie. Got all these guys. That kind of looks like that guy right there. Yep, so I do have this one. I'm not sure how many of these soccer players there are, um, but if you're looking to add to your CMF collection with some of the more unusual ones, I've got this number nine soccer player that you could add for sure. We're starting to add up these uh, Team GBs. How fun are those? Those are really cool. All right, so that was the first pound. The first three quarters of that thing was a little dicey uh for sure but you know cmfs won't sell for massive amounts of money overall but people generally will pay five bucks no problem for cmfs that they don't have so i think we'll end up doing okay on this once you factor in the values of you know specifically those three i don't know if that maiden is getting sold um but these three even oh pretzel guy's not that good pretty good but those three guys are going to knock the overall value, you know, way up. So that'll help. So there you go. That's part one of five on this $1,000 uh, haul for five pounds of mostly CMF minifigures. Uh, thanks for being here, guys. If you want to see parts two through five, we'll be posting those soon. I appreciate you, and we'll see you next time.